people, Zarthwomp here, and welcome to episode 8 of Rock of Ages 2. Last time, we defeat, we went over to Pompeii, and we destroyed, and we defeated a butt demon that I didn't get to the name of, and then we went over and to Oslo, where we fought and defeated the Scream. So anyways, we're going to do our next level, which I believe is the final regular level in the game for us, Sarped Sarpedion. Which is a horrible level. Essentially, this level is actually the reason why I did not, why I canceled this Let's Play. Because when I was doing this originally on my PC, I was chugging through the lag. I was like, oh great, I lost a few episodes, but I can recover those episodes. But then I got to this level, and no matter what I did, no matter what difficulty I did it on, I could not complete it. It was horrible. I had to rematch it over and over again. Heck, I didn't even get this level done until I was able to get it on the Switch and get no lag. So anyways, let's do this. Let's do this. The level of pain. Yeah, just turn them into tables. Medusa, my arch enemy from this game. Medusa is a pain to fight. She is. Her level is a pain. It's evil and I hate it. Despite the fact that it actually looks pretty cool. So anyways, for this level, I am going in with the tar boulder as per usual. But I am also going to be going in with the, with surprisingly enough, the armored boulder. We're going to go in with mines. We're going to go in with the bulls. We are going to go in with TNT. We are going to go in with an airship. We're going to basically go hot and we're going to go heavy. Okay. We're going to start off with this boulder and we are going to basically do that. Okay, do that. Okay, where's the mine? Okay. One more mine. Put that there. She is going to have a lot of presence on this map. Basically, Medusa, what she loves to do is she likes to do a shortcut down there. So, by having this little thing here, we are going to basically be blocking her off. We're going to try to block her off. So, that way she can't really hurt us too much. Put this guy here. So, that way you can at least try to knock her off. Okay, I am kind of nervous, I have to say. Because, like I said, this level can just screw you over majorly. Luckily, I know a shortcut that should help us out and should turn the tides in my favor. Okay. Jump over here. Jump over here. Oh, crap. She's already starting with it. No, no, no. Medusa loves to start out with putting her sem her bowls of heaven right there for you to be hit by. Okay. Jump. Leap of faith. Leap of faith. Okay. Leap of 
Keep up faith. Good. Okay. She was hit. I hit her. Okay, where is she? Where is she? Okay. Put one there. Put one of you guys here. Right there. Okay. Okay, that should block her off for at least a little bit. I know I'm being risky with this. I know I am. But frankly, this is for our best interest. This is for our best interest and hopefully Come on. Okay, that should at least slow her down for a bit. Yeah, I think I may should have gone with the more powerful boulder. So that way we could get at least a physical advantage on her. But frankly, I wanted to ensure that we can get through. Okay. Skate around. Roll around. Okay, there it is. Okay, good, good. Boom! Okay, we've already taken a big batch of her health. Okay, she's getting trapped over here. Uh, is she moving? She's moving, she's moving. Good, ram her off. And I'll place one of you guys here, so that way we can get leads, so we can get even more coverage. Good, take her out, take her out. Yeah, nice. Yeah, good! We took her out! We took out her boulder! Nice! Yeah, those airships are really paying off. I have never known the power of the Da Vinci airships. I swear, these things are gold. Yeah, let's just get going. Okay, thankfully she's not going as hard on the bulls as she normally would. Heck, where do you think I got the idea from? She used this on me all the time when I was trying out on the when I was trying to be her the first time. Or the first several dozen times. So I'm just happy to get through this. So let's just charge through. Okay. Charge. And I think we got this. I think we got this. First try! I win! Hooray! Oh, you don't know how good this feels. And we unlocked the Medusa Boulder, which is essentially just a slightly stronger variation of the normal boulder. And that's another reason why Medusa can screw you over big time. Because she, her special boulder is not all that different from a normal boulder. So you can't, so you can't exploit her AI into choosing a boulder that basically is very niche. A boulder that you can easily counter. Say, a boulder with a long cooldown time, or a boulder that's incredibly frail. Anyway, since we defeated all the standard levels, I'm not going to go through the obstacle courses for all the levels, because really, it's essential. You saw a few of the obstacle courses, and it's just going through the level normally. 
So anyways, we are going to head over to Sicily because that's where the final boss will appear once you complete every level and every boss. Palermo. Palermo. Or, I'm sorry if I did not pronounce that correctly. Yes. Alice has been found. Yeah, and Atlas is back where he started. And with the and with the power of the rock, the rock encourages Atlas. And so Atlas is basically like, just screw you. I don't want to hold this thing anymore. Surprised that they didn't do rock. Then the thinker just comes by. Apparently the thing. Uh, yeah, apparently, apparently the thinker has no hard feelings against us after we smashed him into a billion pieces. Anyway, foosball time. This is our final boss this time. No fighting Saturn, just fighting God at foosball. I just love that Atlas goal. That fills me with such joy. Anyways, we gotta either smash the ball or stop or basically get a point. Yeah, essentially, it's gonna be back and forth. Okay. Ah! Yo! Why are our own guys going against us? Ow! There! Okay. Ah, do This final boss on. Okay. Yes! Okay! Now I am going to be doing a very cheap strategy. You know what my strategy is going to be? Well, since these slopes don't exactly have slope logic, I'm going to sit back here for two minutes and basically run the clock down. Ultimate foosball strategy. The game won't stop you. The game does nothing to stop you. And this is beautiful. I am just sitting back and enjoying this. This is the finale. This is the final confrontation. A foosball battle where I am timing it out. We can look through and we can see Atlas's feet are actually present. Which is actually kind of cool. They actually programmed that in and no, no, no. I was trying to see if we can see through the rest of the foosball table. But yeah, that is actually a pretty cool detail that they actually made where you can see Atlas's foot. They actually made it where his feet are visible. And I love how Atlas is just so into the game. Not that we can't see God in the foosball match. But anyways, just sitting back and enjoying this. We did it, guys. We did it. We defeated Rock of Ages 2. I have to say, this was quite the adventure. And I have to say, it was just a nice walk down memory lane because just Rock of Ages is a part of this channel's history. It was back when I was first developing my roots. Heck, it was during the time when I didn't know that my microphone was turned off. It was the age of the muffled mic, as I like to call it. The age of the partial background. Where the third, where basically 
just leaning into Overlord. Yeah, this was actually the first game where I, there was a background because I didn't know how to, how to basically put perspective on the screen. Well, I'm just loving this epic music playing to this foosball match in which that guy is just going back and forth and back and forth. All you have to do is win the game. If you get a single lead on guy, you win the game. Just sit in the corner and you can just run the clock down. I know it's cheap, but hey, it works. It works and I'm using it. Why would I risk it? Why would I risk it? I don't care. I'm going to win this by just sitting in the corner. <laughs> like I said, I'm just loving this. Oh, great. Knock my headphones off. Okay. Waiting. 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 <laughs> just loving this epic confrontation. Just going around and around and around and around and around. <laughs> I'm just doing this to be cheap. What, one last go! Four seconds! We win! Too bad we don't get a last go! And we beat the game. We beat the game. Atlas won. Atlas is bubbly. Anyways, as I said during the during the final minute that we were basically running the clock down, I really enjoyed playing this game. It was a whole lot of fun, and frankly, I have been looking forward to do this game for so long. Just, I originally wanted to do this game right after Ultra Despair Girls, but I couldn't. Because just of the sheer lag, and it made me really sad because I love Rock of Ages. It's a great game series. It has a lot of heart in, put into it. Even though I prefer the overall tone of the first game a little more, because it feels like a bit more of a linear story, this game has its own merits. It has some, it really improves the gameplay. It makes it where just not as many levels were just, ugh. Just, in this game, I did not feel much anxiety. There were only a, there were only a very small handful of levels where I was like, ugh, not this one. That one mainly being just the final one that we did in this episode. Pompeii. The one with Don Quatinko. Quatinko, I, I don't know how to pronounce his name. But just... I... But for the most part, it was not anxiety-inducing. It wasn't like the first Rock of Ages game where it was like, Oh no. Oh no. Now we're facing the, free, or the neoclassicism levels, which were the worst. Because with those levels... It was just a matter of the enemies would be cruel, the e the ma the area was were maze-like, and it was just a pain. Alice dancing. Yeah, the Rocky theme. Yes, and Atlas is stuck holding an even heavier object. Yeah, just let Atlas have his glory. Even though Atlas is essentially in the same position he started out in. But still, Atlas won. And we can now do some stuff. Anyways, I'll show off a time trial level because, frankly, that's all we really have left. You have the customization, which you can create your own. You can pick your own character, which I did with Copernicus. You can pick your own seal, which I did with the lightning bolt. Color yellow with a little bit of green. And my war paint. You can have a plain boulder if you want, but frankly, this is cooler in my personal opinion. Now, anyways, we can view the credits again, or we can do a time trial. Basically, race against the clock without any defense or opponents to, to hinder you. Leaderboards track your best times against other pe players around the globe. So, yeah, establishing online communication. Let's see if we can get it. My best time. Okay. 
Okay, we can fight against Banana 69's time of 20 seconds. Let's see if we can do it. Let's do a level, and basically, then after that, I'll see if I can get to an online patch with someone. So, let's go. Let's see how high I can rank. Yeah, my applaud I applaud you, Banana69. You did a really good job, if I do say so myself. Yeah, I'm probably not going to get a good time on this, but hey, I can have some fun. I can have some fun. So, let's skate around here. No, no, no. Okay, restart, restart. I know this sounds cheap, but hey, I'll restart. I'm probably not going to be Banana69's time. I'm not an ace gamer like Banana69, okay? I cannot be Banana69's time. I'm sorry. I can't beat his 20, their 20 seconds. Yeah, really. How'd you do it, Banana69? How'd you get that 20 seconds? That would have been really good to have during the my playthrough of the level. So, let's just go around here. Okay, yeah, restart, restart. I know it's cheap, I know, but hey, we're not doing anything else this episode. All we're doing is just, hey, wrapping things up. It's, there's not even going to be a bonus episode this time around because, frankly, we have so much time left over. Roll up the slope. And just do this. And, really? I don't, I know this is cheap. But hey, we're going to have fun with it. We're going to have fun with it. Like I said, I can't be Banana... We all can't be Banana 69, okay? We all can't be Banana 69 and their mastery of Rock of Ages 2, specifically this course. Just tip my hat off to you, Banana 69. I tip my hat to you. Yes, the legend of Banana 69. Roll around. Okay. Jump here. There we are. 35 seconds. Okay, my best time. I got silver. 36 seconds is the time for gold. Okay, what? Uh, no, I want to go back to the map selection. I want to just leave. I did a time trial. You saw a time trial. Frankly, I don't have to do all these levels because I don't want to. Okay, let's see if I can get an online match for this time around. I tried to do it in Rock of Ages 1. No one arrived and I was sad. Find a match. Let's find a match. Game not found. Any game. Anyone. You know what? Yeah, we'll do something basic. We'll do Oxfordshire. We'll do Oxfordshire and we'll wait. We'll wait to see who challenges us. If anyone challenges us. Thwomp versus... Wait, you can have up to four people? Hmm, fascinating. Oh, you have rock. Oh, basically you have this. No, I don't want... Oh, that is sad. Okay. That is sad. Leave the match. Leave the match. Yeah. Maybe someday. Maybe someday I'll have a Rock of Ages online match. One of these days I'll have I'll have a Rock of Ages online match. Come on. Let, let, me, just, let me just get back to the main menu. Anyways... I really appreciate that you stuck around to watch this series. You're a great viewer, and I hope you come back for the next one. If you like this video, like, subscribe, comment, share, do whatever that you want. And with that, I'll see you at the start of my next Let's Play, the first episode of which will be uploaded in the date specified in the description of this video. And with that, I'll see you later. Bye.